Hi everybody, I'm Dominic from MakeMeDIY.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a three-way switch to this existing lighting circuit, which only has a single switch. I mean, this is the living room, and you walk in, you turn the light on, but as we walk out, there's, there's no switch right here. I mean, so we're going to go back in there or vice versa. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a remodeling box in here. We're going to put a wire down through the wall, down to the, through the basement, and then back up. And then we're going to change, we're going to install a three way switch here and change that single switch there to a three way switch. A little bit involved, but then again, very easy. So let's get going. Okay, here's our wall that we want our switch on. Now, this is the door opening, so you're going to have X amount of studs in here. And uh, by our existing, uh, Foam jack there. We can see that we have a stud going up on the right side of it. So, you know, we want the switch in this area, but we're going to be using a remodeling box, which is one of these, which is basically we're going to cut a square hole, we're going to put the box in the wall. You got these little tabs that are going to flip out, tighten up against the inside of the sheetrock when you tighten the little screws here. So, it's, it's a remodeling box made when you have existing conditions of the sheetrock on the wall. Okay, so what we want to do is make sure that we're not gonna cut a hole on top of a stud or really close to the stud. We want some room, which is great. Now, this is an interior wall. Interior wall simply means it's not gonna have insulation in it, which is gonna really make things easier when we get our wire. Now, this is where it gets pretty tricky. I came down and I removed our trim. Now, we don't, what we're going to have to do, we're going to make a hole right in the sheetrock right here so we can get the wire from our hole that we're going to make in the wall back down here and we could drill through the plate down into the basement where we can start running our wire. Uh, you can see where our trim was, so we want, I'm looking to put the switch like right about here and so right in this area here, I'm going to cut this piece of sheetrock out not cutting it out higher than the trim, so there's not going to be any sheetrock patch involved. We're going to do this here and to where the existing switch is as well, so we can run, run that wire. Okay. Okay. All right. We didn't cut the bottoms of both switches, where, that, where this one is and where that one's going to be. Now, this is an outside wall, which means that the, on the other side of this wall is the outside, which means what? We have insulation in the wall. Eh, insulation, great, but it's, it's going to make things a little bit more difficult to snake our wire from the box here down to our whole access hole we made, and then of course back down to the basement. Now the other side, look over here, they open this up, and there is no insulation. It's so really nice. Okay, we established our heights, made a little mark here where I want the switch to be. Normally is uh, like 44 inches, 48 inches. A remodeling box can be a little tricky. Just place it on your mark where you think you want it. And, and then just outline the box carefully, not going past the tabs. Okay, stop you. Long enough to. Alright, now we got our drill ready and we're ready to start drilling our holes, two holes for, for our wire. I like to use one of those nice long drill bits, a little stay bit, nothing really big, you don't want to use this big gaping hole, you're only run, running one wire, okay? Basically, what we're going to do, you have your bottom plate here, and there's, I don't feel any wires in here, uh, fortunately our wires for our switch, yes, you can see it, open that up so I know which way they come from the top or the bottom, those are coming from the top, there's no wires here, so we can start drilling, we're going to try to bring it in, you know, Close, but not that close. I'm going to start drilling on an angle. Obviously, it has to be an angle. But before we do that, we want to go down to the basement and make sure of where we hope and think that our hole is going to start is going to come through. That there's nothing there, uh, pipes, wiring, anything like that. Then it can get a little dangerous. Okay, like I said, this is an outside wall, so is this one here. So we're looking for a similar area in the basement, which I show you and about a foot to 18 inches on the inside of that. So let's go in the basement and see what we got. All right, so down in the basement where our wire is going to come out. It's our foundation wall and it jets that way, just like our upstairs living room wall. 
So the, the wall here, and you have your framing that's built on top of that. I mean, this wall here is eight inches wide. The wall that's sitting on top of that is gonna be uh, five and a half inches wide of the framing. So you take all the consideration, try to get a general idea of where you think it's gonna come out. And what I'm thinking, it's gonna be coming out on this side of the floor joist, right in this little area, or right here. But the good thing is, uh, we don't have any plumbing, we don't have any wires in the way, uh, so we're in good shape on this one. The other side, that might be, in our case, a little bit of a chore. So let me get up there and start drilling. All right, well, look for us, we got our wire ran now, so now it's going from one hole on the plate from there, and coming out of this hole, and this, this plate, this wall. Now we need to get them up in the, up through the wall into our hole here that we made for our box. You could use whatever you want. When the wall's not insulated like this, I mean, honestly, it, it, they're really easy. Uh, we're going to use part of the snake here, drop it down, and you'll, we'll find it in the wall right here. So here we go. So we're just going to take the wire, we're going to tape it, tape it to the snake, and then just pull it up and through. Okay, got our wire ran up the wall on our interior wall without the insulation, and a box is a hole that we made, right? A lot easier. Now, a little bit more complicated. We have our single box here, and we have insulation in the wall. It's a little bit more difficult doing that. You could try to run a wire down through the little opening where the existing wires are coming through and down, but it's just not going to happen. It's going to be more involved. What I like to do, I mean, it's not the greatest way to do it, but it makes things a hell of a lot easier. Drill, being that the box is plastic, I can drill a hole in it, uh, especially on this one, because my wires that are coming in are coming from the top, and I'm going to be drilling down. And, and by removing the little sheetrock on the bottom here, I know there's no wires going up, or at least we hope there's not, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drill a hole in here, then I'm going to try to get that snake down through the insulation. All right, look, we got our three-way switches. Now, the three-way switches, of course, you should notice, they are very different, okay? That's not just the way you wire, it's the switch itself is different. It's called a three-way switch. If you look at this, we have our red and our white wire, our travelers connected to the top two screws of the switch. And our black wire is connected to our common wire, okay? Um, and our, of course, our ground. Now, on the other side, that looks a lot different. Let me explain how we did that. Okay, now to the other side. Now look, we got like a lot more wires, right? Now all our neutrals are, or that were original here, we didn't touch them. We just, you know, they're tied together. We're not touching them. And here was our single switch. Now remember, we had two black wires on this, one out to the light and one power. Well, simply what we did, we took one of those wires and we connected it to our common screw on our three-way switch. And our black wire that was coming from the other side to that common screw, well, we tied that together, which was going to our light. So now, that is a complete, complete done. I mean, 100% done. As long as we wired everything right, they should work. Now, the way to test the three-way is not just turn the switch off from here and then back on from there. You want to turn it off from here. Go over there, turn it on, come over here, turn it off, and do some wild, crazy things, okay? Like go back on and off, on and off, things like that. Um, Want to make sure it's 100%. All right, well, we got our switches back in our, our boxes. We got our plates on, on this side, that side, on off, on off. Leave it off here, go back on, turn it on. Yeah, all looks good. Anyway, that's how you add a three-way uh, circuit onto an existing single switch, single pole switch. So in other words, if there's no other switch, and it's a sing single switch, well, then you can add another one on. Now, if we wanted to say add another one onto that, well, that would be called a three-way, it would be a four-way. Right? So very different, but wired the same way. But long story. Anyway, I hope you learned how to uh, do that. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Dominic from AskMeDIY.com.